Hello people out there, all right, this is Adam22 of No Jumper, and today we've got a new concept going on here. This is the No Jumper Streetwear Review. Bullying with your bitch, she never told you. Wanna beg a gas in a old school. Here's, here's my predicament. I've been getting a million fucking kids ever since the podcast started popping off who've been hitting me up saying, hey, uh, I wanna send you some shirts. And at first I was just ignoring the emails because I don't really want the fucking obligation of like you sending me a bunch of shit and then you expect me to wear it or you want me to post a photo and tag you and all this shit. So at first my solution was, oh, I'm just gonna completely ignore this. Then I gave some of the messages a chance. I started to look at like what they were actually sending and I was kind of impressed with some of the shirts. I ended up hitting back a couple of kids and saying, hey, I fuck with what you're doing. Uh, you, you know, I do want this shirt if you have it in my size, blah, blah, blah. I've actually just got a pile of like a fucking trillion shirts here. I'm gonna show you actually. Uh, so I've got this whole trash bag full of stuff. And then also um, a bunch of boxes and everything. So today I am going to uh, check them out. And if you were wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, which is a perfectly reasonable question because I'm indoors, it's the middle of the day, why the fuck am I wearing sunglasses? He's a fag! I just got off a 15 hour flight, basically like a 15 hour journey from uh, Argentina all the way back to LA. I got in at nine o'clock in the morning and I kind of have a motto, which is that if you get in like early in the morning from a flight, you got to just fight through it. Don't go to sleep. You know, I slept a little bit on the plane, but I drank a shitload of coffee. Now I'm ready to dig right in. Where to begin? All right. Package number one, and just so you know, I have no idea what's in these, just like you. And we've got a set of pins here uh, with a bunch of different, can you see that? No, I guess you probably can't, huh? There you go. Oh, yep, there is a letter. Adam22, included in this package are two shirts from my brand, Unidentified Corporation. Uh, I hope you enjoy, would love to hear back from you with some feedback. Thank you with the utmost respect, Liam B. I got two shirts that he uh, sent through. He sent double XLs, which is good, because that's my size, as well as most of the dudes that I hang out with, so. What we've got here is some sort of, uh, you know, old school, like, children's book graphic, and it's a cop, and he's talking to these two little kids, and they're in this red toy Jeep, and he says, kill yourself, I'm busy today. So I guess that this is some kind of statement about uh, police violence, not, racially motivated police violence since everybody involved here seems to be Caucasian. Yeah, it's a, a poignant uh, social commentary of some sort. I'm busy today. Yeah. So kill yourself, I'm, I'm busy today. That's the first shirt from uh, Unidentified Corporation. And then the, uh, the second shirt that they sent through. God can't hear you. You know, I like the idea of this, this shirt just having this big statement on it. My problem is kind of, what is, what is this? this? This weird little logo under here. You know, it's called identified, Unidentified Corporation, but I have no idea what this logo is. And I'm always, I like shirts that, you know, have like a big statement on it. But then at the same time, it's, it's just got this weird fucking little thing under it. And I'm not really like that crazy about that, to be totally honest. I, I would consider wearing the children's uh, graphic shirt that shows the police officer threatening the children. Unidentified Corporation. Yeah. Next up is uh, this shirt. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea where this shirt came from, but the front graphic says Booty Talk 85, which I don't know, maybe it's some sort of like porno movie thing. It looks, you know, it's just got like two naked chicks making crazy faces. It's this weird retro porno vibe, I think. And then on the back it says, A Wasted Basket. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you, I don't have any strong feelings about this shirt and also it appears to be approximately a medium. Because this is, I think, definitely been the shirt that's been with me the longest. And I've, uh, I've always been confused as to where it came from exactly. But, you know, so there's that. Next up, another package coming from San Marcos. Let's see what we got here. So what we got here is a brand called Wave One. Looks like we got this windbreaker. Oh, see, this is kind of cool. A windbreaker is always nice. Uh, as you can see, they've got the, the name of the brand spelled out in some, some way here with the, uh, the, the, the Richter scale or the, the, the animated you know, evidence of how uh, this might have happened. Uh, it's printed on a blank called Her Heriton, which might mean something to some of you, not me personally. It's got a nice, uh, what, cotton uh, 
shell on the inside. So it looks like it would actually uh, absorb. It's almost like a t-shirt material on the inside. And then on the back, we've got this, this cool cloud graphic, which uh, is digitized. And it looks like it was uh, heat transferred onto this. So it is kind of bulky and not necessarily like it's not really fitted to the, uh, to the windbreaker in such a way that it, it's really uniform. It's got a bunch of like uh, little like shapes already kind of in it just from being folded once. But it is kind of cool looking and I, I assume it would look good if you, if you wore it, but I'm not sure how this would survive in the, in the wash either. And here's another t-shirt that they sent in along with the jacket, or along with the jacket. Wave X Muerte Mob. So I don't know what the fuck that is. It sounds like some scary ass Mexican shit, to be honest with you. And then they have like a, the classic traditional tattoo style uh, Grim Reaper on here. So shout out to Wave Brand. I don't like that bad, right? Whoa, another one from Unidentified Corp. This is kind of weird. Wasn't expecting to get two packages from one brand, but here we are. Let's see what they've sent in for uh, round two here. Adam. Here is a brand new shirt to add to the others. This guy's dedicated. He's got uh, these stickers that say no identificado, some sort of like Mexican uh, cowboy shootout thing on here that I might have to Google. Oh, okay, the shirt is the same, the same concept. It's got uh, a little shootout going on here, something I might have to Google, some sort of weird reference. And I will consider wearing this, maybe to the gym, uh, maybe out in public. It kind of has that weird like, uh, Smell. I've printed shirts that had this weird smell before too, and I don't really know how to describe it. Two packages for the first of these videos. This is coming from Connecticut. Said to Adam on some shit. This person went out of their way to write "Stay Fresh" on the outside of the package. Holy shit, this is long. Wow. Uh, let me give you the gist of it. My name is Tom. I own a brand called Fresh Dough that I've been running all on my own for a few years. A few years ago I was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness and was forced to take a hi hiatus from my own brand as I had to fully focus on my health. It's been a long and crazy battle but I'm finally feeling a lot better. I'm not 100% healthy but I'm finally feeling well enough to focus on both my brand and my health. Your podcast is my favorite and the only one I check up on regularly for new posts. You're really covering the people that us creatives are really interested in knowing more about. You know, so it goes on like this. He's going on warp tour. He said that he started with no connections, kind of like myself. He's saying that there's nothing that he wants more than to make it for himself in the streetwear world. He's cheating death and he's beating an illness doctors thought he couldn't beat. I'm Tom Doe. See, it sounds like he's been through a lot. Let's take a, take a look at the shirt that he sent in. So here's one of the stickers for his brand, Fresh Dough. A few other stickers. Fresh Dough. Printed on the inside, Fresh Dough, extra large. With the custom tag in here printed in there. That's a good look, you know, you don't want to look too, too stock there. And then on the back, you got a similar logo, Fresh Dough. So shout out to Tom, Tom Doe. Uh, Hope that your health condition stays good and everything. We'll put the Instagram and everything on the screen here. Uh, personally, I will be saving these stickers and adding them to my collection because I do enjoy this, uh, this floral print here. And I do appreciate the struggle story that you've been telling us as well. I'm fully receptive to what you're, what you're saying here. I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy to hear that my podcast has been inspiring you in any way. That's really great to hear, my friend. Keep on trucking. Next one. So we got some stickers here that say, Rory, R-O-R-I. I used to know a guy named Rory. Uh, not sure what happened to him necessarily. We got it here. Rory, Rory, Rory. Shout out to Rory Ellis out there, my friend Rory. Oh, and on the back too, again, Rory, Rory, Rory. Hopefully I'm saying this right. Hopefully it's not like R-O-R-I or, or Rory or something like that. It's a, a beautiful t-shirt that you've uh, delivered me here. Rory. It's another one, this is a big one. All right, first off, damn, we got this big ass fucking sew on patch of the Grim Reaper that you could just sew onto your backpack if you were uh, so inclined or on your jacket or whatever. On the front, we got this sort of like Chick-fil-A Playboy bunny thing going on here. Kind of reminds me of the Players Club, shout out to Tyler Grosso. Uh, on the back, Crucial Limited Gentlemen's Club. It's got a clear cut uh, strip club parody style vibe going on here. You're never alone when you've got money, honey. Home of the hopeless and brokenhearted. Bergen County, New Jersey. Open 24 hours, Monday through Saturday. 1-800-CRUCIAL. 
So yeah, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with a big black hoodie, like, you know, at the very least. This might get some play. I'm not sure where exactly I would wear this. Maybe to uh, the Chick-fil-A or maybe to um, the Playboy Mansion if I was feeling like, you know, it would cause you some controversy or something like that. Maybe I would take this here patch and I would sew it on in some way or, or maybe put it on like a leather jacket and rock that with it here. And then also, oh, okay, so this is pretty cool. This one I would definitely wear. Trust Jesus with the fucking two crosses. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most in inventive uh, joke of all time. You know, the sus is not uh, filled in. So it's kind of saying like, oh, Jesus is sus. Which, you know, you could certainly make the case, you know, I'm, me not believing in God, I'm, I'm totally receptive to this argument that Jesus might have been a little sus. He might have been kind of a fuck boy. Box time, this is a, a fucking box that I received. Uh, this, we're digging in on the boxes here. So we got a bunch of stickers that have uh, a dude who kind of looks like uh, Kyle Carlson or just some random uh, fat dude, no offense to Kyle Carlson. But ki yeah, it kind of looks like Kyle Carlson. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, this is pretty much Kyle Carlson. And then a few other stickers too. I myself, not a skater, but you know, I got love for the skate community and everything. Okay, so first off we got a beanie, a black beanie with a skateboard on it, which is kind of clever. Oh, okay, and here we have a a contribution to the thriving dad hat market. Uh, again, with the skateboard logo on it all day, coming from skate all day, and on the back, skate all day. Well, this is something that my friend Sean McCann, you might uh, be interested in. Again, with the, the skateboard logo on the front, this one's a real simple design here. So this is a better blank than a lot of the shirts that I've checked out today, which have been kind of like Gildan style uh, blanks. I haven't really been like leveling any criticism at them because I, uh, I don't want to get into it too hard, but it's a long sleeve, dark blue of some sort, I think, with a pink uh, demon face sort of scratched into it. SAD 96. I'm not hating on this. I'm not mad at this. This is kind of cool looking, to be totally honest with you. But here's a sort of bleach job shirt that they did as well, with like a cartoon of some sort of mentally handicapped person on the front, and then it's all bleached and everything. And uh, again, the, the mentally handicapped person on the back. Oh, okay. You're speaking my language. Well, you're kind of speaking my language. Look at this one. Upside down weed leaf on the front. But then on the back, stay high with the dollar sign. Okay. So shout out to Skate All Day. This is the biggest one I got. Oh my god. Fucking packing peanuts. Nobody wants your fucking packing peanuts. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Third Coast Skate Wax. And it looks like a fucking double cup. It's wax, but it looks like lean. I'm not sure how good it'll be functionally. But I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. You know, any wax is good, especially if it's free. Okay, and here you go. You got the wax inside that looks like lean. This is not not the worst idea I've seen all day. Yo, Adam, thought you would dig some Third Coast decor. Keep crushing the world's greatest pod podcast. Much love from Texas. Alex Purple Wax. So shout out to Alex. Uh, your product here is, you know, essentially uh, akin to uh, recommending that children indulge in like heroin abuse. To be honest, lean is kind of scary stuff, but you know, I fucks with it. I will be trying out your wax, Alex, certainly, and thank you for the kind words with the podcast. Truly appreciate that. Someone should send me actual lean. That would be pretty cool. So this is apparently from a brand called Absurd. And okay, similar to the, the pencils that I got in the other package, now we got some toothbrushes. So this is interesting. Black toothbrushes. They're really the kind of low-grade toothbrush toothbrushes, so I don't think I'm gonna be using these. As I've gotten older, I've noticed that you really kind of uh, you need to use a high quality toothbrush if you want to really get your teeth clean. Absurd. How you in show business with no business to show is the slogan that's printed under this one. Uh, here's another one. Sort of like the outline of a, of a woman's body. Sort of sexy, I guess, if you need something to jerk off to. Actually, this is probably the one I'm most likely to actually wear. It's like a white crew neck. Oh, it's a hoodie, actually. It's not a crew neck. Okay. So shout out to Absurd. This, this one might actually be... Uh, worn on my Instagram or something along those lines. I'm kind of fucking with the absurd. All right, I've got two more to go. Oh, okay, well this is clear. <laughs> this is like a return for the OSS store. <laughs> and everybody thought that it was for me, but it was actually a return. Shout out to David Palafox. Your, your, your return from the OSS store. I don't know if you wanted a different size or what, but if, if you've been waiting for a long time, this is why, it's because they thought it was for the no jumper thing. It's a hat. I don't wear hats. It's orange, and it's got this sort of uh, duck cartoon guy. He's holding a lightning bolt. Uh, it's got this uh, this race car on the side. It's clearly going for a, a real retro look. 
uh, the hat itself feels like almost something that you would buy at a gas station, maybe while you were also buying some Fago and such, but you know, updated for the modern age. And in terms of who this is uh, attributed to, there's no note or anything, but it does say on the back, forever wealthy. I guess that's the end of my product vlog. Ultimately, I think what I'm gonna take away from this, there's a couple of t-shirts that are gonna make their way into my rotation here. Uh, I definitely am thankful to uh, Purple Wax, Third Coast Skate Wax. This is a pretty cool gift that you could get for your like little brother if you want to get him into drugs or something. If he's all, if he's into skating and you want to get him off skateboarding and into like you know sipping promethazine all day, shout out to Tyler Grosso. Then this is the kind of gift that you might want to get him. Oh, and also, okay, I got two other things that don't necessarily fall into the streetwear category. I got this letter. What's good, Adam? You should let me intern for you. Why? I don't know. Why not? I just need something, somewhere to sleep and cigarettes. I could help with the podcast and shit. It'd be pretty lit. I can make clothes designs and shit too. I'm from Canada. If you care, probably not. You made me write two, you made me waste two dollars on a poster stamp. Fuck you, man. Follow me on Twitter at least. Underscore, I can't even read what the fuck it says. More on back. Uh, I made it sound like I'm homeless. I'm not. Seriously though, follow me on Twitter. I wasted like two dollars on the shitty letter. Don't be a bitch. Why do I want to intern for you? It's too fucking cold in Canada and everyone I know is a faggot. I also don't go to school because I'm trying to work on my clothing brand and shit. I go sometimes, but it's lame. Oh, by the way, you should get Luca Sabat on the podcast. He seems like a cool dude. Follow me on Twitter, for real, bitch. Underscore V, I think it's V-D-O-V-I-C-I-C. -I -C -I -C. So, these are clearly the words of a fucking raging lunatic. I, I, don't, I don't know if this person has some kind of mental disability or whatever, but obviously this is not the kind of person that I would want interning for me. And in fact, my problem is that I don't need an intern at all because I have nothing for an intern to do right now. But if you want to get in touch, if you want to in any way submit your shit in terms of wanting to intern or anything, the email would be info at onsomeshit.com if you want to hit that up. Uh, I'm not the one checking it, but somebody's going to take a look at it and maybe somebody can help you out, but probably not. Maybe though, you never know. Um, okay, and then the last thing that I got was this book, which is called Heavy, and uh, JJ Anselmi wrote it, and the note on the front said, thought you dudes might dig this. Featuring cameos from Chase Hawk, Dave King, Steve Crandall, Wiz, and Bob Scarbo. For those who don't know, those are all like legendary BMX pros or BMX figures. Uh, a memoir of Wyoming BMX drugs and heavy fucking music. On the back it says, in 20 heavy chapters, this book chronicles Anselmi's experiences growing up as a straight-edge BMX riding metalhead in Rock Springs, Wyoming, a place with one of the highest per capita suicide rates in the United States. His grandpa was a well-known businessman and politician in the area and was featured in a 1977 60 Minutes episode for his alleged connections to organized crime. This is only the beginning of Anselmi's heavy saga, and it interweaves all of the social and personal history one might expect, expect from a story like this, including Black Sabbath, Pantera, and Metallica logo tattoos, explorations in LSD, metal, and BMX culture, self-loathing and sobriety, and finally, a very unique perspective on what it means to live in a heavy fucking world. Uh, JJ Anselmi has taught undergraduate writing at CSU Fresno, Fresno and also worked in the assistant nonfiction editor of the Normal School. Uh, he's been published in a bunch of different uh, magazines or zines of some sort, and this book goes for $15.95. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's pretty cool that you wrote a book about being a fucking metalhead BMX rider from the middle of nowhere, because there was a point in my life where I was kind of a metalhead BMX rider in the middle of nowhere, and even though I'm sorta of now a rap nerd, rap nerd BMX rider in the biggest city, or like the most interesting city, arguably, uh, I can kind of relate to at least the premise of this book, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to make it through 300 pages, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot because I do appreciate it, and someday I would like to write a book, and I would hope that somebody, you know, I mean, this book seems like it was kind of tailored to my sort of interests, so I'm going to give this a shot. Shout out to JJ and Sami, and I'm sure that you can search this and find a link to how to buy it online or something like that. This has been my first ever streetwear review podcast. You can let me know what you think. You can tell me what you want more of. You can tell me if it needs something else. I don't fucking know. Uh, if you want to support No Jumper, which is the coolest podcast in the world, the best way to do that would be to subscribe to this channel, search No Jumper SoundCloud, head on over to our SoundCloud and follow us on there. 
hit up that the Apple podcast app, which is on your phone. Even if you don't want it to be there, it's there. It's purple. Search No Jumper. Follow, review, rate us. We're trying to get a decent rating on there. We have like two reviews or some shit. It's horrible. But if you, you know, those are good ways to help us out. And then also, if you want to check out my clothing line, onsomeshit.com, onsomeshit.com, check it out. Buy something, buy some stickers. Even if you don't, well, no, I don't want to fucking act like I'm pressuring anybody because, you know, you either like it or you don't. Especially in this one where I've kind of like sat here and been generally like not incredibly enthusiastic about a bunch of other people's clothing lines. At least I figure I should tell you my clothing line so you can go check it out and let me know what you think. So anyway, uh, yeah, thank you to anybody who watched this. If you want to send in your stuff, you got to send it to the OSS store. I'm not going to make it 100% easy on you, but you're going to have to go look at the bio on the On Some Shit Twitter. So go check that out. The address is right there in the, in the, in the bio. And also follow me. And, you know, you're probably going to annoy me. You're probably going to send me your fucking SoundCloud link. That's all right. I'm not going to listen to it. But, you know, I know you're going to do it. So just whatever. And anyway, if I seem like I'm fucking stark raving nuts right now, I promise it's just a bunch of caffeine. I probably sound like a fucking meth head. But, uh, you know, this is what happens when you've been flying all, all night and you haven't slept yet and you try to make a vlog. So, you know, if you want to send me more stuff, there might be another vlog like this in the future. Check out my podcast. Drop in at least one or two episodes every week. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Adam22 and uh, follow No Jumper on Twitter and Instagram as well. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Bow.